Do we believe in ourselves? Like 90% ran off skateboards. <gasps> so heartwarming and like the whole reason why we opened this place. Welcome back to today's vlog. So today is January 25th. We just um, got done with our weekend, which is Tuesday, Wednesday. On Tuesday, we went to Orlando. I'm sure you saw in the vlog. And then on Wednesday, we were in Ocala all day with Brayden's family. So we didn't really get a day off per se to do like our normal errands, like laundry or cleaning the house. So we're gonna have to save that for tomorrow or this weekend. It's been busy. We've been doing stuff back to back. So today we're gonna be re stocking a lot of items that have sold out from our previous vendors as well as bringing all these new items so we're about to unbox everything for you guys oh, but hold on there's customers coming in it is 10 16 we just got to the shop right now we are unboxing new items okay so this is the first one this is her i think third restock now so everyone loves the stuff i think she sent a whole bunch of new items oh wow Oh, okay, so these are different makeup bags. We really sold out every single hers. Tote bags. Oh my god, look at the amount of colors and designs. And we also have another set. So cute. We also have her popular wristlets, but now in Valentine colors. So let's go ahead and restock that and then we'll show you what it looks like. This is what this one looks like. Cute. These sold out last time, so I'm excited for them to be back in stock, especially for Valentine's. Okay, these are the small ones, and then we have the big ones. Alright, so this is what it ends up looking like. It's extra full, but they can pretty much like sort through which one they want. There's so many different new Valentine's patterns for them. So this is done now. We also got these cute little sticker sheets from Inner Peach. They look like little crocodile tears. Um, we had this in the Matchbox version, sold out. This is what we're working with. Super barren because we just emptied out everything. I moved the bags over here that are not simply sewn related. That way it can have its moment here on the purple wrap. How cute these are. Got this one from Ikea. I don't know if they still sell this anymore or if it's in stock. Lifesaver and it changes so you can pretty much adjust and move the hook. Okay, awesome. So this is what it ends up looking like. All right, so people can sort through like what pattern they want. Completely forgot we got Smile Cult. We, so we also had her stuff in here before and it sold out. So we were finally able to get a restock. We usually hang these by our door. These are new. We haven't had these ones yet. I love the little bear. They're gonna go crazy for these. I already know. It's obviously limited stock. There's not that many. Love it. Last but not least, a new one too. We love. Brand's gonna go hang that up. Got this one, the tote bag version, but in a sticker. Same thing here. So there's this one too. There's also this one. So we have four different stickers, four different totes. Also, you can easily look through them on the clothing rack for now. All right, so we usually stick these suction cup things to the window. So this is the one we're gonna put up. So when you drive by, you'll see this and you're like, wait a minute. And here's the other one. So we're gonna put this one up first. Okay, perfect. We're gonna hang this one up on this side. Make sure it is somewhat level. I'm gonna hang that up. I'm gonna see for myself. Oh, I love it. Oh my God. Cute. Just finished eating breakfast as well as answering all the DMs and emails. Currently it is 12-12. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox everything. This is one of our vendor restocks. This one's from Doozy Crafts. Oh, okay, this one is Oopsie Daisy Mystery Bags. I was telling people to do like blind bags or mystery bags for like Valentine's for gifts, like so cute. It has this design. You get two charms slash phone grip or pins, two random stickers, so four items total. Really one piece design and you can collect like all these different ones. But this one was so popular, I think we literally only had one left. And wait, I just opened up the cutest thing too. So it's not an Oopsie Daisy Mystery Bag. Pink Mushrooms Mini Jelly Phone Charms. I don't know if you can see. 
so you can collect all five. These ones from a different vendor, it was um, like a Tsundere Shark. She did like a Sunny Angel phone charm. Those ones did so well, she also um, had to restock. And then there's another package. Oh, stickers, okay. Everyone loves a good sticker, so. I'm excited to see what sticker design she has. I don't even think she had any stickers with us in the past. She's only had uh, pins as well as like keychains with us. There's a lot in here. Oh my god, okay. Let me go through them. This one. I think most of these are characters. I'm honestly not too sure what characters these are. But they're cute. It's like a chibi style. This one is like a little cat and it has it's watering a plant. How adorable. I'll have to put these out. Everyone's gonna love the new stuff. Put that to the side so we can place it out later. And this one is Sad Frog Studios. So let me go ahead and open this too. Oh my god, okay. So she had these things called Pebble Mystery Box sold out. Okay, I don't know what's inside. These pebbles have faces and like characteristics to them. And it was so cute for the holidays, like it was completely gone. So I'm glad we got some restock of hers. So I got some new Worry Bear. I, I don't know if you saw already, but this is the one that I have on the desk. So it has a heart on the ears, and then like on the very bottom it has like a heart. So it's for anxiety, and you can roll it around your hand, and it should help you de-stress, and you can pretty much just like fidget with it with your hands. She has so many designs. This one has like a cute red pant on. These remind me of like footy pajamas. Like look how cute. Okay, another heart restock because we ran out of those. All, and they're all different sizes and shapes so you can like feel what is good for you. And this one's like a little star one. Adorable. Oh, and then you know how like we put out the bag on the window? We already had someone just walk by and walk in to buy that bag. So it clearly works. People already bought new stuff so even the new makeup bags they were bought. Um, as well as like the tote bag, so I'm glad that is working. We also ordered bulk Swedish candy. So I don't know if you've been on TikTok, but it's been trending so much lately for these like Swedish gummies. And we used to have like a self-serve candy bar. So it used to be a freeze-dried candy bar. And now it's gonna be Swedish gummies candy bar in time for Valentine's. So we're gonna get cute little like Valentine bags so you can like self-serve. We've had Swedish candy before, it's so good. And they don't really offer it that many places. Besides like big cities like LA or New York. So we're bringing it to Gainesville. I'm excited for everyone to try it. But yes, okay, we're gonna finish what we gotta finish and then we'll be back with an update. Hello, update of what happened today. We had to clean up everything that was in here. It was a hot mess because we had a dry flower workshop yesterday. We had a um, bingo workshop. So pretty much we were cleaning up after everything. And we were vacuuming, we were sweeping, we were mopping, um, and then just now I just set up for the skateboard workshop that's about to happen in about 30 minutes. Um, so there's people sign up for this one, I believe six is the cutoff because we ran out of skateboards. So this is going to be a weekend in the life of a small business owner because this weekend is going to be jam-packed. We're starting off today with two workshops as well as a private event that we're going to be hosting at our shop. So it's actually a joint birthday party for two 16-year-old girls and we're going to be making drinks for them, a custom one at that. And we're also going to do a dried flower workshop, but it's going to be um, us teaching them how to make flower crowns. So I thought it was too adorable and we are going to be hosting that this evening and then tomorrow we I think have three workshops back to back and a lot of stuff to be completed at the store so definitely a jam-packed weekend and that's why we're gonna bring you along with us so currently it is 9 40 a.m. and our store opens at 10 a.m. and we just got out of the shower as you can see um, but we will see you when we get to the shop all right we are at the shop now and I have to clean up all this 
that's all cleaned up. Now we have to get ready for our vision board workshop. So I'm gonna lay out some paper in the magazine so they can get um, started at 11 a.m. Right now it is currently 10.33. That is all set up now. And then we're about to eat breakfast. And this was the closest thing next to the bank. We had to drop off change from our cash box. So Brayden just got back. We have a chicken biscuit and like the chicken minis. And then we have people coming in for the workshop at 11. So we gotta get to it and finish our breakfast before they come in. All right, so it is currently 11.38. I just got done talking with so many customers and I love talking to every single one. Like it has made me so happy to be able to like share our story and like have them ask questions as well as like just learn about others and like what they do and like how Coterie Market has inspired them. It is honestly so heartwarming and like the whole reason why we opened this place. But yeah, no, like, I love talking to our customers. <laughs> so at the end of the day, I feel like my voice is completely gone and shocked because of how long I talk every day um, but yeah I I just really love what we do and that's just like a reminder like someone that we just talked to it's just a reminder of like why we started this um, but yeah I just thought we'd give a little update a special flower delivery perfect also Peepa's shirt is from Ari you you definitely know her if you're in from Gainesville got that drip. we obviously order Amazon when we are crunched for time example a the floral tape and the wire that is needed for tonight's <laughs> Um, party. If you hear the doorbell ring, is Brandon bringing stuff in and out because he just got back from restocking everything. We got some floral wire. We also got some floral tape. So you guys will be learning how to make a dried flower crown with me today. We got all sorts of colors. So we're gonna make there's nine girls. So we're gonna do three of each color just in case people want different ones. But these are like metal wires that you can like twist and bend into like a crown shape. And I measured my head with a measuring tape the other day with Brayden. Apparently my, my head is like two feet long or something like that, like <laughs> going around. I'm like, dang. But anyway, so I'll probably have to use two of these to combine for everybody else's heads. But yes, that's that one package. Okay, we got the second box. This one's a little bit bigger. Let me go ahead and open that. <gasps> I literally just ordered these yesterday. It was so quick. What? Okay sneak peek of all the Valentine's stuff. Honestly, whenever this video comes out, it might be even after Valentine's, who knows? But anyways, okay, look at these little slips that we got. So cute, Valentine's themed. This is where we put like greeting cards or stickers, like little purchases that don't really require a bag. We put them in these little slips. And then these are for the smaller purchases. We got pink and red bags for Valentine's, obviously. We normally have like a whole rainbow of colors that people can choose from, but obviously for Valentine's, you wanna make it special. So a little pink and red moment. And then match with this, you already know. You already know. So these are the only colors we have left, and no offense, but they're ugly. Like, we got pinks, we got reds, we got purples, but this is what we have left. Jail. Anyways, we got these, the Halloween bags. That's not gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead, restock, and we'll be back to build flower crowns. Time to make some dried flower crowns. So full transparency, we've been working with dried flowers for almost three years now. So at this point, we've been building bouquets, we've done like weddings, so we've done like boutonnieres, we've done bridal party bouquets, we've done table arrangements, but I don't think I've ever made a flower crown before. And the party is later today, so I hope I figure it out. But, but you know what, we always figure out things as we go, so. Nothing new, nothing new. Do we believe in ourselves? Like 90%, okay? So we'll see. I don't think I've, <laughs> I've never worked with these either. So should be fun, should be fun. There's customers coming in. Be right back. Let me lower the music. All right, so there were customers in here, but while they were in here, I made like the little crown part. So I'm debating whether or not I wanna make them in advance. I actually might have them make it because everyone's head size is different and they can choose what color they want. I can just walk them through it, it was so easy. It has to be thin at first because once you add those flowers in, it's just floral tape on floral tape on floral tape, like it'll get thick. We also loop the ends and go around like this and they're on the loop, it doesn't go 
all the way across because on the loop we actually um, are getting ribbon so you can tie a ribbon so that way it's adjustable you can make it loose you can make it tight um, but we'll have a couple of colors for them to choose from so there's like a pink blue white orange is like the color scheme they were going for we also made them a custom drink menu so this is the tropical sunset and it's a strawberry orange pineapple lemon hibiscus refresher it has collagen and ashwagandha in it also topped with freeze-dried strawberries candied orange peach rose petals and berry sugar so this is the little graphic we made so it has like a little hibiscus flower on top a little sunset on the bottom so this is what we're working with right now oh so that way you can see from above i have the time lapse setting on i'm gonna go ahead turn that on now and then i'll finish adding all of these to the flower crown and you'll you're you're about to see it Just taped it around and it goes all the way around but we had some pinks and some yellows some oranges some whites and then just goes all the way around the crown so good I only drank this much I also have water as well I pretty much drank all of this have this I already have to go pee I literally made the sign yesterday because Brayden was out of town and I had to use the bathroom so they come in they can see that but yeah I'm gonna use the bathroom now just got done laying out all these flowers so I separate them by like the different style and the colors that way it's easier for them to sort through and they can choose what color they like and then obviously build their own crown this is the one I showed you before of what I made and then I'll be showing them how to wrap their own crown update it is currently 3 40 p.m and there were like customers in here 24 7 <laughs> they finally left and me and brayden we've been swapping positions here and there because he's been like cleaning up at like the commissary and getting ready for me um pretty much i like went over there to make the drink while he was at the store and now we're swip swapping again so he can get everything cleaned up while i'm at the store watching and like helping all the customers and then i have to go home and eat before the party comes because then I'm not gonna get a chance to eat and uh, while I'm running the party Brandon's gonna be home eating so we're trying to make it work you know <laughs> but I am currently sweating like it is hot outside it's like 80 something and it's January 27th last week it was like 30 something while I'm waiting for Brayden to come back um, before I go eat I'm just gonna clean up around this area so that way we are ready to serve and ready to serve no like we're ready to serve the party of like the drinks and stuff so everything here has to be clear um but yeah let's go and get started <laughs> update we just got done hosting the party we have to come back early tomorrow morning to clean everything so we have all these clothing racks which were over there we're honestly gonna leave up these decorations because it's kind of cute for valentine's so we're gonna put it there we gotta reassemble the tables again so pray for us tomorrow 